Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a couple pieces of information, leaks, rumors, whatever you want to call it, that may help you out if you're getting ready to build a PC for yourself and a piece of fuzz just totally floated by. So let's take a look at Ryzen rumors as well as GTX 1660 Ti, which is such a stupid name NVIDIA. There's some rumors there as well. Actually, performance ones. So for our first source over here, we have Tom's Hardware. And by the way, I'll leave links to the uh, articles that are relevant, as well as any products I may mention down below, just so they're easy for you to find. With that said, while you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But today we're gonna be looking at Tom's Hardware first off, and we have this lovely chart. This is the Final Fantasy, uh, I believe it's the benchmark here. And yes, it is that uh, Final Fantasy benchmark. So this is a 1440p, and if you look sort of towards the bottom here, you'll see the GTX 1660 Ti, which again is just such a stupid name by NVIDIA. But what I love seeing with this tool is it is just above the GTX 1070. Now, if those performance numbers hold for not just Final Fantasy's benchmark, but really kind of across the board, we might be looking at a pretty good value finally from NVIDIA, and that's because if we scroll down a little bit, this card is rumored to be launching at, if I can find it here, around $279, and that could be launching as soon as the 22nd, which is this coming Friday. So if you're in the market for a GPU and you really don't care about ray tracing, then this card actually may be a great option for you if you're looking at 1440p or even 1080p gaming. Maybe you just want really high refresh rates with your 1080p gaming, then this may be the go-to card. And part of the reason for that, if we pop over here to Newegg, you'll notice that 1070s are, for the most part at least, significantly more expensive, like $50 more than the MSRP for the 1660 Ti. So stay tuned for that this week, at least hopefully it sounds like this week we'll get to see more information on it. I really can't explain Nvidia's naming scheme right now, but at least we're seeing some uh, good pricing uh, for the average person that may not care about ray tracing and just wants a little bit better performance for their dollar in 2019. We're finally seeing that from NVIDIA and this may, I don't know, this may be a response uh, for the backlash that uh, the ray tracing launch saw where we didn't really see any better frame rates at the price points that NVIDIA was selling cards. Uh, we saw sort of the entire lineup shift a little bit where the uh, 2080 was priced at the 1080 Ti, but in most games they were trading blows a little bit. The 2080, I think, might have outperformed the 1080 Ti barely in more cases than not, but they were razor thin margins. And we're finally seeing some improvement at a price point, which is a uh, good job NVIDIA. You finally got the, uh, the, the clue there. And finally, moving back over to the AMD side of things, on July 7th, 2019, the most recent rumor or leak or whatever you want to call it is that the Ryzen 3000 series will launch. Now, previously, it looked like June may be when the 3000 series of chips launched. 7-7-2019 would make a lot more sense from a marketing standpoint, though, because the Ryzen uh, 3000 series is going to be based on the 7 nanometer process, which AMD will be touting over Intel's currently older process that they're still trying to get down to 10 nanometer at volume. Intel's still struggling at 10. AMD is now using a TSMC's 7 nanometer process. So uh, we might have a launch date there. And if you're thinking about uh, upgrading an old CPU or even building out a new PC, you may want to think about waiting because it looks like with the other performance leaks that this is going to be a significant upgrade over the Ryzen 2 generation of processors, which are based, of course, on the Zen Plus architecture. So we're going to see likely a little bit higher IPC, but it looks like significantly higher clock speeds from the Zen 2 architecture. So you may have to wait about uh, five more months, a little bit under five more months, but the wait may be worth it. So that's a quick roundup of really the two biggest leaks and rumors of the day or of the past couple of days. But of course, I wanna hear from you guys. Do you plan on picking up one of these new NVIDIA cards that does not feature ray tracing, but at least features better performance at a price point? 
or are you planning on picking up a new CPU this summer, now knowing that Ryzen third generation parts on the Zen 2 architecture are incoming, looking like July 7th? Let me know down below. But of course, if you like this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are very helpful to the channel. You can follow me both on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. I'll leave that uh, sort of down below as well. And I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you